Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my updated house tour. So it's been a while since I filmed a video like this and I have made a few changes in my house. So I thought why not film a new house tour, show you guys some changes that I've made and also show you some things which I don't love so much anymore and want to change but that will come a bit later on in the video. So if you're new to my channel my name is Lucy, I'm a mum of two boys and I'm married to my lovely husband Jordan. We have a full bedroom family home in Wiltshire. So I'm going to show you around and show you some things that we've done with it. So if you are a regular on my channel, you will notice something different already. I have two new Desenio prints behind me. Now I'm a massive Desenio fan. I first spotted them on Instagram and absolutely fell in love with their prints. So I have four new prints to show you guys today that I've actually got from their studio collection. So as well as all of the other posters they have on Desenio, they have a lot of you ever been on there before, they also have a studio collection. There are four studio collections, so you have the studio Coast to Coast, Studio Cosmopolitan, which is actually what I've got, so it's City Shots. Um, from all around the world, Studio Sad Kind and Studio Mystery. Desenio Studio Collection has taken inspiration from cities, as you can see the ones that I have got. It's also taken inspiration from architecture and beautiful nature as well, and I love nature. Desenio's Design Studio has visited different locations all around the world to create all of these studio collections. I've also picked up these two new prints as well. So this one is from the Architecture Studio Collection and this one is from the Coast to Coast Collection. So I thought it was nice to mix them up a bit and I've also got some gold frames for them because I love the way the gold frames go with the prints. I have used different branded frames in the past for my Desenio posters but I've just found they haven't looked half as good so now I get all of my frames from Desenio as well as the prints. They have loads of different types of frames. I just thought I'd add some metallic to this room and went with the gold for these prints. So if you'd like to go and check out Desenio's unique studio collection prints, I have a discount code for you guys, Lucy Jessica, which you can use today, 26th of March, up until the 28th of March. For loads of art and print inspiration, go and follow Desenio on Instagram. I will leave their page link below. The discount code is only for prints, so it won't work on frames or a handpick collection. So as I said, I will leave the website linked below. Go and check it out if you want to add some beautiful, unique art to your home. I'm going to bend down so you guys can see me. So sticking in the dining room, we have my dining room table, which is from Ikea. Um, we've had it for over two years since we've lived here. It has a few marks on it, of course, but it was actually really reasonably priced. So um, we didn't want to spend loads and loads on our dining room table because obviously we have two young children. So yes, this is our white Ikea dining room table. On top of the dining room table, I have this glass tray which is from HomeSense, and pretty much everything on this tray is HomeSense, apart from this eucalyptus, which is Ikea. The chairs in my dining room are also from HomeSense. I then have this ladder unit here, which is from Wayfair UK. Everything I mentioned that does have a link online, I will link below for you guys if you want more information. So this is from Wayfair UK, and it matches the desk in my office, which is upstairs. But we thought this space looked pretty bare, so we filled it with this. It definitely needs sorting out. I need to go through it. Um, it's not perfect. But I just want to show you guys a real family home as well. It's not perfect in here. There are things everywhere. That all needs to be organised, but I just don't have the picture-perfect family home all the time. It is a real lived-in family home. So that definitely needs sorting, but I thought I'd show you it because it is a beautiful bit of furniture. On the floor in my dining room, I have this rug, which I bought from Ikea, which was pretty reasonably priced. I do really like it. I thought it was nice to add something dark in this room and add a bit of contrast, but the children have already got Play-Doh all over it, so that is delightful. And then in the corner, I just have a throw here, which is from HomeSense, and then this kind of like texturized basket, which is from River Island Home. This unit here is from Ikea, and as you can see, it is missing a handle, so yeah, my home is not perfect. This is actually the Hem There's shoe storage unit, but we use it to store all of our paperwork in. And then on top you can see is home to my Desenio Studio prints, and then I have these which my mum gave me, so they kind of match, they're kind of like Japanese art flowery vases. And then paint on the wall, we have a texturised paint, which I will link the website below. So me and Jordan did that ourselves, and then we just have a white mirror, which I actually spray painted. 
Moving over to the other wall in my journal room, as you can see, there is half a decennial print there, so you kind of know what wall we're on. I have my beautiful hanging greenery. I got these from a mix of places, mostly from Ikea. The pots were from my local garden centre and the hangers were actually from Amazon. So I just love the way they look and love the way they add a bit of greenery to this room. You can also see my Dyson there charging on the floor. I don't have a utility room. So um, when it's charging, that is where the Dyson lives. Moving on into the kitchen now, we did buy this house as a new build house. So it is a new build kitchen. The worktops, I get so many questions saying, where did you get your worktops from? They came with the house and we could choose them. So they are fake marble worktops, but I'm sure if you Google fake marble kitchen worktops, quite a few will come up. And then we just have the white gloss and the silver handles. So nothing too fancy. And then obviously my oven lives here. On the walls we have a Dulux grey paint, and I'm really sorry I cannot remember the name for the life of me, but it is definitely a Dulux grey paint. I then have two prints up here, which are from Decenio. They are food themed, which I think goes really nicely in the kitchen. So then moving on into my hallway. So in my hallway, and in the whole of the house actually, we just have soft grey carpet, which again came with the house. So I'm not sure on the exact shade, but I absolutely love my soft grey carpet. It does get a little bit dirty in the hallway, um, but other than that, it's fine all throughout the house, even with two boys. All the stains come out, so that is perfect. So I have this big mirror here, which is from Next. So this big mirror here is from Next. When I saw it online, I just thought, oh my god, that is so beautiful. So yes, we have that in the hallway. And then we have this over here, which is actually broke. <laughs> um, so yeah, not really ideal. And I do want something bigger there, which has a lot more storage. We have all of my fake pink flowers, which are from so many different places, mainly garden centers. And then we have my little wax melt on there, which I like to turn on. It just gives a lovely smell throughout the house. Most of the hallway is painted all white, but on this one more here, I do have the textured paint, the same textured paint that I have in my dining room. And then we have two Decenio prints here, white ones, we have a little quote here, which says, live your dream. This is an and symbol, so it says, and live your dream, which is just something that I love. So now we come into one of my favorite rooms of the house, my living room or lounge, whatever you wanna call it. So one of my favorite things about this room is my gallery wall on the back wall. Now I absolutely love this gallery wall. We use the black 50 by 50 ribber frames from Ikea, which I believe you can only get in store. I've looked for them online before and I can't find them. So I think you can only get them in store. And then, then the prints I had printed at Koo Photo World, they were poster prints. So I'll leave those linked below. It's just lovely to look at my gallery wall and have some beautiful family memories right there in front of me. We then have the best bargain I've ever got, my sofa. So we picked up this sofa actually on eBay second hand so it is always worth looking at these kind of places so it was second hand for 250 pounds a lovely gray neck sofa and i absolutely love it i actually can't see myself getting rid of this sofa anytime soon i was actually offered a sofa collaboration not so long ago but i said no because i just love this sofa i love my 250 pound second hand neck sofa um i never want to get rid of it i love it so much and then i have accessorized it with a few cushions the ones at the back so the gray silver ones they are from primark the pink ones they are from home sense the furry ones are from home sense and then that one there is also from home sense my lovely pink throw is from matalan home love matalan home and then that footstool is from HomeSense. I absolutely love my sofa setup. There is nothing better than sitting down there of an evening when all the children are in bed and just chilling out is definitely my happy place. That console table over there is from HomeSense and so is the lamp. Now looking from the sofa over to the TV, we have this beautiful buffet, which is from HomeSense. I feel like I just keep saying from HomeSense, from HomeSense, from HomeSense because most of my house is from HomeSense. I absolutely love that place. I love it so much. Don't get that often, but when I do, oh, it's just heaven. So yeah, this is from Home Sense, and actually it cleans up very well. Jesse loves to make a mess on here, but it does clean up very well. I just clean it as if it's like carpet, and most of the stains come off. We then have this rug, 
love the colour of this rug and it looks lovely but with two boys it's just impractical so I'm going to have to get rid of it and get a different rug because there's just stuff stuck in the rug that I just can't get out. So it's beautiful to look at, it is gorgeous but it's just very impractical with two young children. In the corner with all of Jensen's birthday cards on because it has just been his birthday is my ladder unit which I got from Ikea. And then we have my TV unit, which I got from Argos. Argos? Yes, Argos. I always get mixed up between Argos and Asta. Argos. And then we have uh, my TV on there. Fun fact about our TV. We had a TV when we moved in. We bought a lovely one that we saved up. And the boys had a play fight and fell into the TV and smashed it. So that was a big stress. So we then had to buy a new TV, but we couldn't get the one that we saved up for because it was too much money. So we had to get that one, which is the version down of the one that we previously had. So yes, a little fun fact about our TV. The paint in my living room is also the same as the textured paint, which is in my dining room and in my hallway, as I said, which I will link below. From the lounge, we then come in to the playroom which is where all the boys' toys are kept. So we have a sofa bed, just in case anyone ever wants to stay in this room. It's just kind of filled with toys. Um, it really needs sorting out. But yeah, here is the playroom. We have a lovely pink on the wall because I'm a huge pink fan. And because you could see it from the lounge, I wanted to keep in theme with the living room. And then we have this, which I absolutely love. It's our blue rhino head, which I got from Laradel. There is a better look of the rhino head. And as you can see, we also have King Kong and Godzilla on show in here. Here is where most of the toys are kept, as you can see. They really, really need sorting. But it's just been Jensen's birthday, so we just had an influx of new toys. And he hasn't had his party yet, so I'm sure we'll get more toys then. So yes, a job for me is to minimise the toys. But anyway, that is where Jensen plays his Xbox on that TV there, and where the boys watch their TV. So I've come upstairs and in this room here is my beauty room slash home office. Now I have a whole separate room tour on this room, so I will link that below because there's no point me going in when I've already made a video being way more specific. But this is my lovely home office and beauty room. I absolutely love the floor in here, it's gorgeous. It's laminate, fake wood which we've got from Wix. Oh, I just love it so much. I wish I could have that in more rooms, which maybe I will do one day. I will leave the link to this full room tour below. So I'm now in the boys' bedroom and we are in the process of doing this up. So there are quite a few things in here that aren't finished, but I thought I'd show you the things that are finished. So on this wall we have some animal heads. Now I was looking everywhere for animal heads, but I couldn't find any literally cheaper than £100 per animal head. But then H&M come out with a new kids' home range and these were literally £12.99 each. So I snapped them up and they look brilliant in the boys' room. As you can see for size, they are a really good size. That is the boys' Ikea Mal dresser. And yeah, they just go perfectly above them. The shade of grey we have is a Dulux grey. I'm afraid I've actually forgotten the name of the shade. But it's kind of like a light grey and you have to be careful with grey not to go for a bluey grey unless you want a bluey grey. So my recommendation would be make sure you get testers and just make sure you go for a grey without any kind of bluey undertones. I then have this beautiful rug, again from H&M Home. It goes lovely with the bedroom. So as I've mentioned, I will leave anything linked below. And then, flipping the camera, we have the boys' bunk beds. Now, these are bunk beds from Argos, and they also came with mattresses. I get so many questions about the boys' bunk beds. They love sleeping together, they love sharing a room. And these bunk beds are perfect for them, they're the heavy duty ones and they do also go into single beds if you wanted to I believe, or maybe I've got that wrong actually, maybe they don't. But anyway, the boys bunk bed from Argos and then we have the chest of drawers which match perfectly which I got from Ikea. Bedding wise, the boys have bedding from Laradel. It's kind of messy up there as you can see we have loads of animals because we're hanging them from the ceiling when we finish the room off but yes the beds aren't made perfectly but the bedding is from Lara Doubt. as you can see here it's a bit creased as I said the house is definitely lived in it's not the most picture perfect family home but it's our family home that we love 
And then on here we have this, which I think is so cute. This basket I picked up from HomeSense quite a while ago. It's just one of those unique things that you see in there and pick up. And then these two elephants were actually sent to us as part of a press package um, for La Roche Posay, children's moisturiser and things like that. So I don't actually know where they're from, but um, they look lovely in their little blue cage. I then have built-in wardrobes for the boys, finally. So my stepdad built in these wardrobes for the boys and it makes the room look so much better. And then on the wall we have a little rhino which then carries these and there's usually loads of nappies in there and there's Jessie's wipes. So that's the boys bedroom finished and now we are in my bedroom. There's actually something in here that I'm going to change because I don't love it and that is this gallery wall. Now it's so bizarre because I love the gallery wall downstairs so much. But I don't know what it is, maybe there was too much going on in this room with the wallpaper and the gallery wall, that the gallery wall just doesn't look right. Every time I look at it, I'm like, mm, I don't know. So I'm actually going to get rid of that and just put up two small pictures on that wall. Or I could even leave that wall bare. I mean, I'm not sure yet. But I think it's important to mention that not everything you do, you're going to fall in love with and you will make mistakes. I read in a magazine somewhere a long time ago when I was pregnant with Jessie actually about home design and um, interior design all that kind of stuff there was a professional as you could say interior designer um, quote and it was something like I won't get this exactly right but someone said how do you have the most perfect home and she said because it's just trial and error you need to be able to admit when you don't love something. I mean, it's so easy to just put up with it, isn't it? Because you know you've spent money on it and you want it to look great, you want to love it, but you know you don't really love it and you don't love the way it looks. So we all go through it, I'm sure we all do things in our home where we spend money on, obviously I'm not talking about drastic things, I'm talking about, you know, small things like that gallery wall just there, that you take a bit of a risk on and it's okay not to love it and it's okay to change it. So, I'm going to do that to that wall. That is something I did and I don't love. I'm sure we all have them in our home. I also have a full room tour on this room, which I will link below. But we have my wallpaper there. So there is my wallpaper and that is from I Love Wallpaper. We have my bed, which is from Next. And then the bedding. Oh my goodness, where's the bedding from? Laradal. And then the cushions are just from a mix of different places. These pink cushions here are from Matalan, as I said, on my full room tour. There'll be loads more detail on everything in this room. We then have my mirrored chest of drawers, which are from Argos, believe it or not. I have some more Desenio prints up there. That one says, Wanderlust, a strong desire or impulse to wander and travel and explore the world. And that's definitely something we have as a family. We absolutely love to travel. And then as you can see, that leads into the ensuite. And we have my wardrobes. Now, I can't remember if I've shown you guys these or not yet, but they are my built-in wardrobes that my stepdad did. He is a carpenter, and I absolutely love them. They just finished the room off perfectly. So there are my built-in wardrobes. So that brings me to the end of my home tour. I do have another bedroom, which is around the corner, but I'm just using that as a kind of like utility room at the moment. So there really is nothing much to show in there, but I do want to get that room sorted. So that is next on my list, my never ending list of jobs. Am I the only one that has a never ending list of jobs of just stuff I really need to get around to doing? But there we go. Don't forget to go and check out the Desenio Studio Collection and use my discount code. The link to the Desenio website and studio collection will be below, so go and check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.